back to my channel. I am the Electrophile Latina, and today it will be all about the Aerial X Class 52 volts and what I've done to it. Also, I have some updates for you, so I just wanted to apologize. I've been gone for a little while. January was rough. Um, in January 30th, my, my car got stolen. Then on February, I had an accident, so I was uh, nursing a concussion. I'm still not 100%. And then um, looking for a new car was really stressful and it took a lot of my time. Probably took like a month for me to find a new car. So with all of these things happening and a lot of changes with the team, so I have a new business partner, new videographer, new social media team, so building a marketing strategy and all that, it all took time. But now I am back stronger than ever and will be posting six days a week so stay tuned i want to have you all in my electrified latina family so going back to the x class uh, i have new turning signals so i want you to take a look at that and i also have a huge surprise but before we dive in let's roll the intro <music> All right, so starting with the turn signal, so I have front and rear. As you can see, they're like this like diamond shape, which I really like. And then on the back, we couldn't find a placement, me and my mechanic, like a little bit further back. So the placement was here, um, which I think looks pretty good. At least this is a temporary placement. And let me show you the switch. So here's the switch here want you to see like how they blink oh my god okay of course I don't have the, the the battery on the battery so I have a little battery thing in there for the auxiliary auxiliary, auxiliary lights uh, both for the turn signals and so see that even in like the daylight it's like really nice and bright so the auxiliary battery goes for the turn signals and the LED lights and let me just turn it for the right, uh, here we go, just middle, right? So you can see, and I'll just show you really quick how it looks on the back, right there, and then on the back. Pretty nice and bright too, I would say. We'll have to do some like nighttime riding and see how that looks. All right, so now, what do I have inside my cargo box? Oh my God, La! Jack Cecil 60 volt controller. So for those of you who are still waiting for it, let me show you what comes in the box. Nicely packed. So under here we have, trying to do this with one hand, this is your awesome 60 volt controller right there. All the plugs, hopefully they're uh, uh, waterproof cables. And then inside this little box, we have, we should have our new display. Oh, sorry guys. Good one. Oh my God. I apologize. All right, so this is your display. All right, I obviously need more practice with the one-handed stuff. Oh my God, okay, here you go. And it's little, let's look at the little buttons that come behind it. Okay, here we go. And let's go compare it with the actual screen. See, like, plus, minus, and on and off. And let's compare it with the one that comes stuck. So this looks a lot bigger right there. And uh, it looks a lot more premium. I bet you the, the quality is going to be nice. this controller is gonna have me go uh, 40 miles an hour actually maybe even closer to 45 miles an hour this is gonna be a great tough speed for me as my commute is really long um, also uh, what else oh yeah it's gonna make it a lot more torquey so I hear the acceleration is a lot stronger so both of those things are gonna be great hopefully less of a lag when you twist the throttle like on acceleration too so I am not a handy person, so I won't be doing the installation, but I have an e-bike mechanic and he's looking for, actually for the parts, oh, because he has to bleed my brakes. 
So uh, I ran out of mineral oil on the rear brake, so there's like nothing. It's not even working. So right now my bike is not safe to ride, obviously, with a high-powered e-bike and no rear brake. Like, no riding for me. So he's gonna go those, do those two things, bleed the brakes, add the mineral oil, and um, install this like controller. As soon as that is, as soon as he gets to that, guys, I'm gonna make a bunch of testings with this controller. I'll be putting a lot of information out there for you. Uh, a lot of you have been waiting and asking me to please make a video, give an update. Some of you are waiting uh, for this, for my updates in order to pull the trigger. So I promise I will do this as soon as possible. I will keep you updated. Thank you so much for tuning in. Like always, it's great seeing you. Any questions, I love answering to you guys and I, I do them all in my comments. And always remember, whatever you're doing, happy riding!